Hi, I'm Professor Stu Garden. I'm the one who's going to be teaching Calculus 3 online to you at Tunxis Community College this semester. So before we, well, I guess get started, I want to go over some of the basics and, and take a quick look at Blackboard, which is how we're going to be doing most of our work in this course. So when you log into Blackboard, this is, well, pretty much what you should, you should see. Welcome to Calc 3 at Tunxis. Um, and some basic info. So first of all, the course outline is over there on the left. You have your course outline, all the homework assignments for the entire semester listed out, um, and our schedule, and what you should be doing by when to keep on track. So everything I've set up has Friday due dates, because um, it just seemed like that would make sense to be consistent. So you should be fine uh, going through your work, aiming with Friday to be the day you have all of your work done. Uh, most of the weeks, you will have either a quiz or a test. So if you see here, our first quiz, quiz one, is going to be on February 5th. And we'll have a quiz a week later, and then an exam the week after that. So the quizzes will all be on Blackboard and will be your traditional, well, Blackboard quiz. I'll give you a little more information about that later. And when our first exam comes up, I'll give you a little bit more information about that too. Uh, for today, I just want to stick with some of the basics and, again, get a chance to introduce myself. So the other thing you'll notice is discussions. If you have any questions related to this class that would apply to everybody, please ask them here on the discussion board. They can be math-related or um, assignment-related. If it's something specific about your actual grade, please make sure that you actually um, email me privately. Anything that's kind of private, you don't want the whole class to know about, or is grade-related, just send me an email. Otherwise, use the course questions discussion post right there. Now, for most of the information for this course, it will be listed under course content. Um, and so we'll have three units with basically three tests. We'll start with unit one, our multivariable functions. You'll see for every unit, we'll have each section. Um, and we'll populate this with more and more sections as the semester goes on. Uh, but we want to keep everyone on kind of the same page for now. So. Uh, the first section, we start in chapter 12, section 12.1, 3D space. And when you click this, you're going to see the same two thing or the same few things each time. Number one is just a quick kind of welcome message about, well, what we're going to be learning about with that particular topic. And then I have attached files. So the attached file here you'll see is um, my set of notes for this topic. All right. These notes specifically correspond to my lectures. And I have on YouTube my lectures for uh, each one of my well, topics we're going to be going over. And you'll see, hi, this is Professor Stugard. Well, there I am. That each section um, kind of goes along with freedom. our notes and explains them a little bit more in depth. The thing is, though, these notes that I provide they are not a substitute for writing your own notes. You're not going to get better at math without, well, practicing and actually writing it down. The, that physical process of actually taking your pencil and putting it to paper and writing those things down will actually help you remember them better. So you have the textbook, you have my video lectures, and you have my notes. You should be combining all three of those and creating your own set of notes based off of them. All right. Make sure you're going through with your notes. Try to summarize the important parts, you know, color coordinated if you need to, and make mm -hmm. sure that you are um, kind of getting that full experience, right? This is a completely online course. We don't have lecture. That doesn't mean you should stop doing basic things like taking notes. That's going to be crucial for you to be successful. Um, in addition to that, obviously the homework assignments. These are the homework assignments for the entire semester. Uh, there's quite a bit because you cannot get better at math without practicing. And all of these homework assignments are how you practice. And if you don't spend the time to do all of these homework problems, well, when you get to your engineering classes in future semesters and they tell you to, well, we got to use Stokes theorem here. And if you have to spend time looking it up, you're, you will already be at a disadvantage. We need to work really hard to make sure we are on top of everything. So that's all I really wanted to cover in the beginning here. 
Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, please let me know. But I wanted to introduce myself, show you around the Blackboard shell a little bit, and let you know that I will have office hours for anybody. We can drop in at any point during the week, starting at, at uh, sorry, next week at 10.30 a.m. to 11. It'll be in my private WebEx room, and I'll post a link up on the Blackboard course shell for that. And in addition to that, on every Wednesday, it will be specifically for this course, so we can ask questions. So during those office hours, that's the time where, again, read the book, watch my videos, read my notes, try to do the homework, and then anywhere you still have questions, whether conceptually or the specific homework question, the specific problem, that's what you should be bringing to office hours. So please show up to the office hours prepared so we can make this as productive as possible. And let's have a great semester learning some multivariable calculus. Bye.